Hey you guys, Desmond here. And Krisha. And welcome back to the channel. Today Ooh. we are here to discuss the grand finale of season three of Drag Race Philippines. Mabu hey. <laughs> Before we get into it, I want to remind everyone to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We have a goal of 1,000 subscribers, and we'd love to reach it as soon as possible. So to help us achieve our goals, go ahead and subscribe today. So, what did you think of the finale of Drag Race Philippines? Um, I like Mama Pau's little step and fetch it, even though she didn't do much stepping. She I, got I, carried and fetch it. I, I told you, I told you the performance was very, let me walk this way. Do, do, lift me up and carry me, then walk this way. Do, do. Now, I will say she started doing all that flip, the flip, the flip, flip towards the end. I'm like, okay, that, that's cute. But then she went back to the walk this way. <laughs> She's like, that's all I it's got. It's giving very, you know, uh, that person you don't want to mention's version of Mariah Carey. I'm gonna walk this way. I'm gonna stand right here. What person? Who has a version of Mariah Carey song like that? No, it was a RuPaul challenge. They dressed up like iconic singers, actresses, oh, women. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We don't, we don't rock with her no more. We don't. Um, but let's go ahead and get into this finale. So, we start off with our Eliminated Queens. Up first, we have Verse Sex. This gets a B plus for me. Verse Sex. You get a what? A B plus. I give you a B plus. Up next is Yudi Pota. What is your score? This gets an A for me. This gets an A plus for me. I love this. Up next is Jay Quinn. This gets a B plus for me. This gets a B for me. Up next is John Fideliaga. What did you think of John? This gets an A plus for me. This gets an A. I really like this one too. Up next is Pop Star Bitch. A plus. Gorgeous. A plus. Gorgeous. Up next is Mick Chanel. What did you think of Mick Chanel? This gets an A. This gets an A minus. And then last but definitely not least, we have Zimba Ding. This gets an A minus for me. This was really good. I wish you would have had different hair. Yeah, different hair. Definitely. I give it an A. And now it is time for the performance we were all waiting for. Mama Pow. Giving us the ooh ah ah sensation with her carry me over here. Yay. Now carry, carry me over here. here. <laughs> Yay. Flip me up over here. Yay. Were there any words to this? Because I swear to God, it was like just music it was playing just and people just moving and dancing it around. It was there. just a drum beat. They were really getting their life to a drum beat. And then here comes all the eliminated queens coming to do the end of the dance. They were doing more dancing than her. <laughs> but yeah, overall, it was really cute. Had a good time. Bob Becky knockoff. Yeah, real cute. And then now we're at the first of her two finale garments. She's like, all the other hosts can have one finale garment. I'm going to have two. What did we think of Mama Pal's look here? Oh, I love this. I thought this was gorgeous. I can give this an A plus. Oh, I agree. A plus, honey. Probably my favorite look this season. My favorite look. Mm -hmm. So, for the finale, we are joined by Jervie Wrightson. No longer Kelly Karen. She's She done dropped her stage name and she's going by her new married name of Jervie Wrightson. And, you know, I saw her big post on Twitter about choosing, you know, to go forward as Jervy and dropping the Khaled Karen name. And, you know, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I'm happy for Miss Jervy, okay? It's, I'm mm -hmm. have to really got to make sure because I've been calling her Khaled Karen for so long. <laughs> Be like, Jervy. <laughs> Miss Jervy. Mrs. Jervy Wrightson, okay? All right. Mm -hmm. We're also joined by Jiggly Caliente. Him. 
John Santos, and BJ Pasquale. So, for tonight, we're starting off with a ball. Off the jump. Like, yep. this, this finale, they put them through it. A, fall, a ball, a talent show, then the final lip sync. Baby, they put them to work. Mm-hmm. Put them to work. So, it is time for the ball. In the first category, it's first time's a charm. So, basically, they're recreating their first drag look. A first is Angel. What did you think of Angel? Oh, she went from a dress to pasties. Uh, I really wish she'd have went with a dress. I give this a C. I agree with your C. L- putting these two looks next to each other, I'm like, that's not the same look? Or I don't see the reference from that look? Mm-hmm. So yeah, I agree with the C. Up next is Kiana. Her first time in drag, she was dressed as the mummy. And now she is a more mm-hmm. elevated mummy. And the, the fake blood on the first look, my God. I'm like, what right? did you use there? Because, baby, that almost looked real. Um, but for <laughs> Kiana here, I give this an A-. Um, I agree with your A-. minus. Up next is Maxi. What did you think of Maxi? Huh? What did you think of Maxi? Um, I love this. I love this. I give this an A. I give it an A+. Plus. I see the reference. I see the elevation. Maxi, mm-hmm. this was a great look. Up next is Tita Baby. Her first drag look, she was dressed up as a police officer. <laughs> um, not the biggest fan of this look. Mm-hmm. I will give this a C minus. I like it from the waist up. I'm good with the C plus. C plus. Now it's time for the second category, which is Art Attack Extravaganza. Up first is Angel. Gotta zoom in on Angel because it was hard to get a full shot of this. This was breathtaking. This was gorgeous. This was everything A+. Plus. I agree. God, Definitely A+. Plus. It like, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, bitch. Up next is Kiana. What did you think of Kiana? Uh, this gets this gets a B. This gets a A- minus for up next is Maxi. Whew. A plus 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 Baby bitch. I saw this and was like, oh, she's winning. Like, you saved your best looks for the final episode. I love that. I fuck. Honestly, they didn't know which order these looks were going to come in. But still, like, it just happened to line up that your best looks were like, bam, bam, bam. Like, my God. This is probably one of my favorite runways of the season. Like, this look is my favorite yeah, look definitely, of the season. Definitely, I agree. Like, amazing. Amazing. Up next is Tita Baby. What did you think of Tita? Um, you know what? I like this, actually. I give this an A-. minus. I give this an A+. Plus. I love the thought behind this. I love the silhouette of this dress, and I wouldn't change a thing. This was perfect in my eyes. A+. Now, for the final category, is come in your best drag. Up first, Angel. Again, breathtaking. Beautiful. This gave very much model. I thought we was on the runway. A+. Mm -hmm. A+. Yes, I agree with your A+. Angel knows how to sell a look. Oh. Like, whatever All-Stars versus the world she ends up on, 
y'all better be scared, okay? Especially if she's in front of RuPaul. I feel like RuPaul would really love her. Mm-hmm. I can see them just cackling in the workroom. And you know, that's the quickest yep. way to get a crown put on your head. If you can get RuPaul to cackling. If you can make RuPaul laugh every episode. Oh, you finna get that crown. If you don't win, you're definitely gonna be uh, Miss Congeniality. Who? Oh. Moving on to Kiana. What did you think of Kiana? Um, I wasn't necessarily too fond of this look. It reminded me like a really bad kids cartoon. I got that. Uh, well, well, I first of all, that cartoon wasn't bad. All the monsters wasn't bad. Well, you said a really bad kids cartoon? cartoon. Yes. Oh my bad. I just said my it reminded me of a kid's cartoon. I'm gonna say don't don't do our real monsters, honey. Cause next time you come down, that will be the only thing playing. <laughs> no. Um what was that show? Oh, it's another show that you it reminds you of too? Yeah. And it was a meme for like a really long time. Had the dude, you know, dressed in blue, and their everybody's hair was made out of foam. Their outfits looked like this. I think really I know what pink. you're talking about. I think I know what you're talking huh? about. I think I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember the name of it. I don't either. Like where their paint, where their face I, painted the same color of their body. Like if the hair was blue, their face was painted blue too. Hmm. I don't know about that. Oh, well, anyway, what is your score for Miss Kiana? Uh, I said it was a C. Oh, you said a C. I give us an A. Mm-hmm. I love it. Up next is Maxi. Again. A plus. A plus. My God. Maxi. Baby, get your foot off our throats, honey. Get your foot off of our She clothes. said, trust and believe. I'm going to pull out all my best stuff. You thought you saw the best of me. Goodness. This said best drag. I'm giving you the best drag. That part. Last but definitely not least, we have Tita Baby. What did you think of Tita? I like elements of this. Mm-hmm. I give it a B. I love Minus. a lot of elements of this. I give it an A. So, who a. had your favorite collection of looks for this ball? And why was it Maxi? And why was it Maxi? <laughs> why was it Maxi? God! <laughs> Ate them up every category. Look, and then the one that new angel. <laughs> that ate, ate the both of them, just ate everybody up. Honestly, this was a really Ooh. good, like, final ball. Like, they really did a good job here. This is probably the best, best drag I've ever seen on any franchise. Yeah, it is really good. Really good. This is the best, like, somebody pulled it up on IMBD. I believe I'm saying that correctly. This is the best rated mm-hmm. season of Drag Race ever. This whole season is the best rated. It even beat All Stars too. I mean, it was like it was the best season. Like, cause normally, normally, like halfway through Philippines, like maybe by episode like nine, we're like, okay, is it over yet? Is it done? And I didn't have drag race fatigue through this, cause normally we have fatigue like right around. You know, honestly, I think I think we're just getting accustomed to having like ten drag races going at one time, and at that time we weren't. So although the season was great, we were kind of like, okay, okay, okay. (laughs) But I think we I think we've grown accustomed to like we like four are airing at the same time right now, and I think we've just grown accustomed to having at least four airing at all times. Like, that short period of time where it was just, like, one or two, we're like, we don't know what to do with the extra time. Like, I have hobbies. (laughs) There's something I do outside of this. 
Wait, what is what? that? <laughs> what? Wait, what? Huh, oh, but yes, this... What's the problem? Honestly, this I in Canada versus the World Season 2, they're fighting for my favorite season this year. That's going to be a conversation. Yeah. We're going to have that conversation soon. It's almost time for those videos. Ooh. Lord. I, I know, because we're, we're already, what? Mid-October? Week, almost two weeks into October. We got three weeks left, two weeks left. Yeah. It'll be almost time to start the test. But I'm telling you now, it's, I have it's a battle between this and Canada versus the three world. Week at work, and then the week after, I have to go somewhere in the middle of the week. Mm-hmm. So, before we continue on, it was time to announce this year's Miss Congeniality. But first, season two Miss Congeniality, Hannah Beshi is back, honey. What did you think of Miss Hannah's mm-hmm. look here? Mm, this was this was nice. Very yellow. <laughs> Very yellow. I give it a I give it a B plus. I give it an A minus. I really love this. I would have loved the bigger hair, but I think that's just the Texan in me. I really just mm-hmm. think that's the Texan in me. Bigger hair. The bigger the hair, the closer to God. And then she was to be like a cup of noodle or a ramen, because that's what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. It's very much she's supposed to be ramen. Carrots so, and peas. The queens voted. In season three, Miss Congeniality is... Verse sex, which I was sitting there, I'm like, really? I was like, wait, she wasn't she like not on there for very long? So I'm happy for her. <laughs> uh, I think the queens did it on purpose because she was so. They were like, you know what? You're Miss Congeniality. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, our new Miss Congeniality, who won a cash dip of 40,000 pesos. Hey. Chingle, chingle, make a chingle, chingle, chingle. Okay. So okay. now it is time for the Grand T-I-T-E, Totally Impressive Talent Extravaganza. They don't do everything. Now, see, this is what I would have done. Because there was two things we were doing in the finale, after the ball, I would have cut one of the queens right then and there. I'd be like, after the ball, sorry, this queen, you're out. Then have the top three do the grand, uh, do this talent show, then cut another one to where we got to our top two. I think that's how I would have done it. So, unfortunately, Mm -hmm. I think I would have cut... It would have been either Tita Baby or Angel. I'd have cut Tita Baby. If this season would have been judged the way I would have judged it, Tita Baby would have had some wins, so I would have cut Angel. But the way that it's, the way that it's done right now, I agree. I think I would have cut Tita Baby and had the other three do the talent show. But everyone gets to do it. Up first, we had Angel. Uh, we got to see her with this shot with the crown, which I thought was really cute. And she performed a song called A-N-G-E-L, written by Angel and produced by Angel. <laughs> and I believe she's the only one that was written and produced by herself. She did it. And yep. this was a fun talent show. This was really fun. You know, she was dancing. She gave us a, a good performance, a really good performance. What did you think of Miss Angel's performance here. Um, I liked it. I mean, you could tell, you know, because it was extremely simple lyrics and everything, but I liked the way she performed it. She sold it. Yeah, I she mean, you could it. tell she was feeling her whole little pop star fantasy. Mm-hmm. She really played, uh, she really played into played the whole stage. God, I couldn't get it out. She played the whole stage. She played... That's not the correct word. She demanded the whole stage. She worked the whole stage. There's the word I'm looking for. She worked the whole stage. It was going to come to me eventually. No, it wasn't. I'm glad you said it. (laughs) That's what I'm here for. 
Oh my goodness. But up next we had Kiana. This was her shot with the crown. Gorgeous. And she performed Kiana Wins, written by Bern Arbogan and produced by Mark Glenn Ray Gingo. Mark Glenn Ray Gingo. 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 I don't know. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I was a little underwhelmed by this performance. You were annoyed by it? Underwhelmed. Oh, underwhelmed. Yeah. Same. Same. Like, I saw where she was going, but I'm not sure if she was just in her head or what it was. But, like, to me, she didn't really fully connect to what she was doing. Right. The voguing was a little off. And plus, one of those background dancers, I, I, I am convinced he got there the day of and had to learn all that stuff. Because he was off in every performance. Let me see. Do I got a screenshot of the background dancer? Hold on, let me see. Uh, where is he? Where is he? He may not know. Oh, I'll go back to Angels. Let me see. Yeah, when you go to Angels, the second guy in the blue, right? Well, you can't see it, but they can see it. Mm-hmm. He was a little mm-hmm. off on everybody. So I'm like, did he just get there that day and didn't really get a chance to learn the choreography that well? Or what? But yeah, mm-hmm. back to that. Kiana, yeah, was just a little off. Up next is Maxi. This is, was her shot. And Baby, she performed Le Bon, written by Maxi, produced by Maxi. Okay, I was wrong. She written and produced her own song, too. And Baby ate it up. Ate it up. And this makes me wonder, if she would have stayed around and not gotten hurt on Queen of the Universe, she probably could have made that finale. Mm. Because Baby... Because she was singing live. Yeah, she was singing live. As you saw in the corner, it said live. <laughs> like I said, I wanted to start saying the mic is on. Okay? Mm. Her mic was on. And was sitting there singing the house down. My- and I was like, and that's how she won. <laughs> Baby, if we weren't already convinced that she was winning, this was another thing. Like, she really ate this whole finale up. She really did. She said, this is my show. What are you talking about? This is Maxie's Drag Race. What are you talking about? And then we had Tita Baby, who gave us this comedy performance called Flying Higher, which was written by Tita Baby, Jennifer Go, and Eric Mercedo. Um, and it was produced by Tita Baby and Eric Mercedo. This was hilarious. Mm-hmm. This little small mouth thing knows here that she did was everything mm-hmm. it was so much fun yes I loved it oh I I cackled like if baby I was like is this trend coming back because I swear to god I just saw Marisha Ray do this on Critical Role the other week uh huh it might be you know things tend to come back in uh, style trends usually come back mm-hmm. but yeah what like, a great job you know the 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 uh, mannequin challenge for some reason all these high schools were doing it mm-hmm. and I was like really that's a thing again yeah I've no I've been seeing that come back around but not not much not much so we have our top four queens here Mama Pal announces that Tita Baby is not in the top two. To me, Mm -hmm. it kind of sounded like her saying, you're in fourth place, because why not send Mm -hmm. them both out, you know, at the same time? Mm -hmm. So so although she didn't say fourth place, she did say it to her first. She had her moment, and she she revealed her reveal and sashayed away. Then Mama Pal announced that Angel will also not be in the top two this season. So she sashayed away. In her own very special back. way. <laughs> and then came back. <laughs> in such a way. She did not want to leave. Are you sure? Are did you, you make sure? a mistake? No. Because you weren't sure the first time. <laughs> so our right. top two. She just revealed her underwear. <laughs> so our also, top By two. the way, I love this green. Love this green on Mama Pal. Oh, yes. Let's talk about it. You know, this is the second look. What is your score for Mama Pal? 
This is an A for me. Yeah, this gets an A. The first one was better, I will say, but this one is great too. Yes, the first one was better, but oh gosh, I love this. Yeah. I think what sells it for me is the hair. I really love this hair. And you know, we haven't seen this color on Mama Pal this season at all. <laughs> She's been a redhead all season. Red hair. She's been a redhead all season. Mm-hmm. So our top two. So she was like, I'm going to go black with a little bit of red. So our top two this season. Kiana, Maxi, do you agree with this top two for the season? Yeah. I do too. I do. I do, because I, I was like, because the only other thing they could have did would have been Angel against Maxi. Which but I'm Kiana, so mad we never got that lip sync. That, that's how you know RuPaul wasn't there because RuPaul would have made that lip sync happen one way or another. Baby, win. <laughs> yeah, baby. RuPaul would have had them lip sync against each other at one point within this show. But hey, we have our top two. They lip sync to this amazing song by Angeline Quinto and Regine Velasquez. Mm-hmm. And when I tell you Probably one of my favorite lip syncs of the season. I think it's the best of this season. I I might have to agree. I might have to agree. These queens really demanded this stage. They kept your attention. Like Mm -hmm. it was just so powerful to watch. And then have then seeing Maxie crown her sister on the stage. I ain't gonna lie, I got a little emotional. I'm like crying. I, I was just I'm like, I, I, I got I a little know, emotion. I'm like, you're making me cry for it. I'm like, stop. I don't want to cry here. That was such a beautiful moment. I just, and I was like, this is how you know Maxie, she going to share this with her sister. She going to share this with the family. It's so important to her. Mm-hmm. Family is so important to her. And this was just a beautiful moment to see. It was. So, and then her sister gets up there, gets crowning, and walks off slowly. <laughs> <laughs> she said, this is my moment. I will take it. Okay? So, Woo! the lip sync is over. Mama Pal is now back on the main stage. So, we get a very special announcement from RuPaul, who recorded this when she recorded everything else. Mm-hmm. But, the winner... Of Drag Race Philippines is Maxie! Maxie! If you didn't know, you couldn't tell already. If you couldn't tell, like, do you agree with Maxie winning this season? Who are you asking? Like, the. Oh, oh, hold up. Now. We could tussle, okay? We could tussle. <laughs> Your hands is ready to eat for everyone, and I'm yeah. not everybody. So. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, yes, I agree 100%. Maxi, great job. I try not to get too many close shots of her because her wig was starting to, the wig line was, Slide. yeah, I'm like, ooh, I don't want to do the winner like that. I don't want to do my winner like that, okay? But Kiana, second place, great job. Great job. Oh, if Philippines get there on All-Stars, Y'all better hope Kiana don't say yes, because if she does, oh, oh, y'all gonna have to work for it. You better hope Kiana and Angel don't say yes on the same season. I'm telling you, if they do the best of the best of Philippines, that's going to be hard. Because they've had some amazing queens from this franchise. Amazing queens. Baby... But yeah, we have our new Filipino winner. Yeah. So happy for Maxi. So happy. Congratulations. I just sister. wish somebody would correct that crown on her head. <laughs> and here is her shot with her crown on. With her scepter looking beautiful. So, before we go, what did you think of this season overall? This was a Damn good season. Like I said earlier, this and Canada versus the world are really fighting for that number one spot because the, they really are. 
it, this was just amazing. There was not a single bad episode. Mm-mm. I don't feel like none of the storyline. I feel like all the storylines were completed. There was no dragging, like no fatigue, as you were saying earlier. Like just a great season of Drag Race. And they broke Definitely. the season three curse because usually season three on every franchise is not good. And they broke it. So I'm super, oh. exci- I'm super excited for that. I'm super excited for them. I'm excited for the future of this franchise. I'm, I'm excited to see them get a fourth season. They're on All Stars. I, I am excited for it all. But I don't have anything else to you. Nope, I don't either. All right, well, I think it's time we wrap it up here. Kresha, where can they find you on social media? You can find me at Kresha McGill. That's C-R-E-S-H-A-M-C-G-I-L-L on all social media. And you can find me in the club, pocket full of bud, mama. But if I'm not there, you can find me on all social media platforms at Simply Desmond. That's S-I-M-P-L-Y-D-E-S-M-O-N-D. Thank you so much for spending a piece of day with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all soon. Bye.